little bit of a freak out. <laughs> so he's got three finishers. Running Big Boot, which he can do at any time, but it's the least powerful one. Gut Wrench Power Bomb and Pump Handle Slam. Pump Handle Slam is the strongest one. In fact, it's an S rank damage move. Same with my finisher, the Stroke. So this might be the first to get a finisher. And he's got uh, Stephanie McMahon in his corner because that's when they were storyline dating. This was before <laughs> Stephanie was a heel. This one's was when Stephanie was pure. Yeah, you know, before she, you know, always did an impression of a bird. This was when she was an even worse actress. Dear wow. Eagle, you have no idea how bad she was. It was horrible. I'm glad I forgot all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He still outweighs me and is like a foot taller. Yeah. Hit him in the ass cheeks so hard that he was in a daze. Neck breaker. Gotta wear down that neck for the sleeper holds. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, thank god this is not Wrestlemania or Road Dog just broke the streak. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I really hope that Road Dog breaks the streak. I really hope that the streak is one day broken by running from China. That would be funny. Her new gimmick is that big bitch. No, I think her new gimmick nowadays is that she's a porn star and a terrible one at that. Exactly, that's what they call her. Yeah. God. I'm gonna beat him in a nothing match. I'm the I'm the sass bar on the right this time, by the way, for some okay. reason. Yeah, that's. In case that you thought I was sense. just doing terrible. Yeah, I I, I was kind of confused for a second. Yeah. It, fucking. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Right into it. That was beautiful. Perfect. Hook the leg. Damn. Well, I hit him with a stroke early on. I don't think he's got much left in him. No, I mean, his test is... He's about to fail it. Fuck. There we go. And roll him up. No, that wasn't a roll up. That was being snap married. It's a bit of a terrible porn start is what happens when you, you know, you ejaculate <laughs> too soon. Before hitting the start button? Yeah, you know. You know, you're playing games, you're jerking off all at once, then it gets all over the controller, and you're like, oh, damn it. Yeah. You misspell a little bit, and then the, your brother tries to play, and he asks you why the controller's all sticky. And you tell him it was the rabbits. And then he says, okay, and grows up to be a serial murderer. Yep. And then you have to shoot him in the back of the head. And that concludes the story of Dubin. Well, I was just ripping off of Mice and Men, but sure. Uh, that's the story of Mice and Men? Uh, well, the shooting of someone in the back of the head part, everything else was just me saying really uh, stupid nonsense. Say, mice of Men, Jizz Rabbit. <laughs> uh, kinda. But it involves more strangling. Uh, Autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> <laughs> kinda. <laughs> And rabbits. Come uh. on. Yeah. Man, the Glargay sleeper hold. I'm getting a lot of uh, mileage out of that move. Indeed. Shit. <laughs> Boot to the head. Wow, he's really getting a comeback. Oh, Just God. The... Oh, man. Lucha test. How to protect your balls. Puff out your chest. Uh, yeah. Oh man, he's really kicking my ass. Well, technically he's kneeing you in your groin, but... Yeah. Same, same principle. Uh, no, no. Uh. <laughs> Come on, you got this. You got, you beat the big show. I can't lose to test. I, I have mean, her career. <laughs> he's dead. Come on, you can't get beat by a ghost. Oh, did you ever see that blog post he made a week before he died? No. <laughs> a week before he died, he made a blog post talking about how he's only 30 and he has a ton left in his career and every uh, every ending is a new beginning. He's like, I've got, I'm only 30. I've got like a ton of time left in my in my pro wrestling career. A week later, died. Well, that's depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Guess he failed that test. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, he should have had a sidekick named Quiz. Oh, God. That really sounds Attitude Era. I know, right? Doesn't Vince it? Russo was booking. Why didn't that happen? Exactly. Come on. Uh -huh. Oh, I read I read the thing about Razor Ramon when he was pitching his, like, Razor Ramon gimmick to Vince McMahon and some other guy, and he was basically just, like, telling, like, describing, um, uh, Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't know about the movie Scarface, yep. and so they thought he was just being really original with all these gangster ideas. <laughs> and so, and he didn't find that out for the longest time, and I think that's hilarious. Well, that happens fucking all the time with Vince. That's what happened to, uh, to Pirate Paul Burchill. That's why he lost his push, because apparently Vince absolutely loved it until he saw that it was actually a thing in Pirates of the Caribbean, which was what everyone was trying to tell him. Even Paul apparently is trying to tell him, like, I want to make a character like Johnny Depp in in um, Pirates of the Caribbean, and he just didn't get it. And then he saw that it was what? a character, and he's like, oh, oh, this is dumb. It was great. Vince everyone sounds... loved pa Paul Pirate, uh, Pirate Paul Birchall, because Paul Birchall was a great wrestler. Yeah. Vince sounds like a giant idiot. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, you can do it. I oh, yeah, that's my go-to move, the weird Matrix slide under. Ha-ha! Yeah. The baseball escape. Okay. I got this. I got this. Just casually. Suplex to the... Oh. Oh, ow. Okay. Um, Suplex to the owl, the most effective region. I'll just get him with, um... I'll just get him with the 619. Jeff Jarrett signature maneuver. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh! Hey, get the fuck off! Ooh, okay, that this is getting... Fun. This is getting close. He's this holding his neck, that. though. He got a neck injury. Fuck you. Yoink! Ah, oh, shit. I need to get him with some, like, repeating moves, you know? Yeah, like a gun. <laughs> yeah, like a machine gun. Exactly. I need to get him with, like, anything where I ground and pound or go for a submission, because those lower their sass a lot, and that'll make it so he reverses <laughs> less. I like how you're now naturally referring to it as sass. Yeah. It's a thing now. <laughs> it's It's happened. Yep. We've made this a thing. You can't take it back now. Accept it, print, move on. Get over here. Okay. Come on, come on, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Damn. I thought you were saying tap it, tap it. This Jeff Jarrett's crazy and he whispers in their ears as he kill <laughs> as he strangles in the death. Tap it, tap it. Okay. We got this, we got this. No, no, we don't have this. We don't have this. Oh god, he's getting a finisher too. Oh fuck. Oh poopy. No, 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 no! I lost mine. Oh my god, this might be it. He's going for his. No, 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 no! This is his strongest finisher. I think this might be it. Pump panel slam. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh yeah. You well, got beat by test. I was twelve and zero. Oh. You failed the test! I'm gonna try to do a running DDT into two sets of leg drops uh, for an hour, then do the STF. Uh, you can't do running grapples in this game. That was only introduced in No Mercy. Fuck. 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 I don't care who wins. Road Dog won, fuck you. <laughs> and then it was a... 58 minute double count out <laughs> for the fuck you. <laughs> uh, there goes my undefeated streak. Well, you know, they back can't to fighting Val that. Venus and Godfather forever. I guess they're mid carters. I'm fighting mid carters now. Yeah, you should retire now, Madurai. You had a good run. It's over. Go make TNA. Uh, blue meaty stop motion Titantron. Now that's some good stuff right there. Yep. I love the blue meanie. 
He is a r ridiculous man. You know, he's actually really fit nowadays. Really? Yep, great shape. Cool. Yep. But he's still just as blue and as mean as ever? Yes. And yeah. awesome. He's actually a really good wrestler. He's a sweet neck breaker. Speaking of, die, Valvinus. I'll break your goddamn neck. Eh. I don't think that came anywhere close to hitting. <laughs> no, no. No, don't get me with a strong grapple already. Oh. If he's gonna hold me up for that long, you may as well just throw me outside the ring. Yes, Spivlin. Blue Meanie is a thing from the be from a Beatles cartoon. Yeah, that's, that's where Raven where stole it from. <laughs> yeah, he got the idea from that. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna throw him in the corner. I need to do more corner moves. They're really good. They're repeating moves. They lower their sass a lot. No, it's sass, man. Pew, pew. Bam. Went. We have so much of that mute like, we used to like own CDs of that shit. The soundtracks and stuff. Of WWE stuff? WWE theme music. Now we got YouTube. <laughs> yeah, now it's like, fuck it. Now, you, now there's that dude who uploads the uh, full quality production themes on his YouTube for like all of the promos and everything. Like every theme is on YouTube now. Some inside dude leaks all of it. Uh, oh, I may have already told you. Yeah, because we... From the we we have like a bunch of the uh, theme songs on like our PlayStation Three. Yeah. And you know how Ground Zeroes you can like import music. I'm mean, gonna told you this yeah. already. <laughs> um, and so like you can have like Chris Benoit's theme come as your chopper is playing. Yes. As your chopper, so they can know that death is on its way. No, I don't know if I ever told you this story. This is a story I've told very few times on the show. I think yes. only during streams. But uh, once upon a time I was doing a let's play of Amnesia. You told me this. Okay, I'll, I'll tell this for the sake of the chat then. Okay. I was doing a Let's Play of Amnesia, and that Let's Play is, I think, the only one I've ever had to abandon because after recording the entire thing, all of the footage corrupted. And it was a great Let's Play. It was a lot of fun. Brandon was in the room with me, so it was Callum. It was great. And we were, like, freaking out all the freaky moments, and we are making hilarious jokes. I think it turned out really well, but I had to scrap it because the footage got corrupted. But my plan was, and we would never acknowledge it on microphone, but I already told them ahead of time that the plan was that every time we had a hint that the monster was around, I would have just really low in the background little whispers of his of Chris Benoit's theme song start playing. <laughs> and then as the monster shows up on screen, I motion track a cutout of Chris Benoit's face over it, and it plays the theme louder as he comes in the room, and we all run away from Chris Benoit. God, that's great. <laughs> Oh my god, not many people would have got it, and I only had like a hundred subscribers at the time, but god damn it, it would have been funny. <laughs> That's like that King's Quest V video I made a long time ago. Oh my god. Was it Chris Benoit killing people? No, it was, uh, it was, um, it was Slender, but instead of the Slender Man and that stupid, like, drum beat music that they have in the background, I would like, I took the, uh, you remember the, uh, Retsu Prey that, uh, that, uh, you know, the, like, Slow Beat for Diabetes did of King's Quest V? Yep. They're like, well, and you know that really awful town music that they freaked <laughs> out at? Yes, I, I do know that song, actually. That's yeah, well ingrained in my childhood. I played a shit ton of the King's Quest games growing up. As much as they make fun of it, King's Quest V is actually a really fun one. But yeah, oh, that sure. song is hellish. Yeah, so basically I just took Slender and I did what you did and I just like would s whenever every time the the character would get a note, I would just slowly jack up the volume yeah. on that music till the point where you got the last note, it was blisteringly loud. Yeah. And then at the end like King Graham it, it murders you. That's awesome. Yes. King Graham. All right, Blue Meanie's wrecking house, even though Jeff Jarrett got his ass kicked. We're ready for the Meanie salt. Blue Meanie is the shit. All right, I just gotta... <laughs> fuck it. No, don't take out. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Balls. I was gonna lay him out, and then... Meanie salt. No, no, I can, I can still grab... Uh, no. I was gonna at least get him with an even flow DDT. That's your finisher. Uh, it's Raven's e even flow DDT when you're standing. Oh. 
Shit. No. I think it's hilarious how much the roster changes, like, just within a year, and so, like, a, a game that comes out is just, like, completely different people. Yeah. Like, the, like less than a full year later, when uh, No Mercy was made, it had, like, Chris Benoit and stuff in it. And Bull Buchanan. <laughs> it had its own Bull. jobbers. That's Did freaky. anyone play as Bull Buchanan? The only thing going for him is that he had a really cool animation on his uh, scissor kick. <laughs> He was That's part of funny. Right to Censor. Oh yeah, that was a, uh, that was Stevie's thing. Yeah, Stevie's terrible stable. It's funny how Steve Stevie's gone on record saying that uh, he's like, it's funny how the biggest push of my WWE career was when I was my worst. <laughs> he said <laughs> I like know, I was right? the most out of shape. I was the most apathetic. I was in a horrible go nowhere marriage. I was unhappy every day, and I had that stupid gimmick. And that's when I got my biggest push. I looked <laughs> like shit. He's like, I was like 40 pounds overweight. He was in Braden Walker mode. Yeah, but he was still in way better shape than Braden Walker. Braden. Stevie's one of those dudes who are in crazy good shape for his age. Dude's like 39 and severely injured and has some of the best cardio you'll see in pro wrestling. Yeah. That's cool. So we get Vader to do the moonsault onto Blue Meanie after Blue Meanie does his moonsault. No, Spiblin, the guy in green is not the green meanie. No. That's the godfather. He's a pimp. Yeah, he's a pimp. That's his gimmick. He has yeah. a train of hoes in which he calls the Ho Train. Yeah, that's also the move of one that's the name of one of his maneuvers. And his finishing maneuver, uh, one of his finishing maneuvers would be the uh, the pimp drop, which is a Death Valley driver done by a pimp named yeah, Godfather. So that makes it way better. Yeah. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, you kind of took him to the wrong turn, Buckle, but... A little uncoordinated. That's yeah. okay. All right. Hard air whip into the corner. Grab him. Drop him on his groin. All right, we're diving on him. Meaty salt. Oh, starting to get up. All right. I'm going to meaty salt him on the back of the head. Oh, I guess you can only mean salt and you've got a finisher then. Elbow drop to the kidney, still a, a valuable maneuver. No, 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 Me? don't let him take, don't let him, oh. God damn it. Okay, we got this, we got this. <laughs> they both have injured necks. Yeah, they're, you're just murdering everybody tonight. Yeah, I mean, keep hitting them with the hangman's neck breaker. I love the animation for the hang Hangman's Neckbreaker in this game. Their head just bounces off the shoulder as it does a thump noise. Ugh. Same one that was in No Mercy. Too bad it does. it's like an E rank damage move for some reason. Huh. But it wears down the neck, so it's worth it. Um, oh, you guys are right beside each other. I was gonna say, he's kind of in the wrong corner. Yeah, that's kind of not correct. Okay. We got this shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Thank you, Jeff. Right into the roll up. Two well, count. Almost. Man, these five clones in the audience really need to think about bringing new signs. Yeah. They should also try, you know, to get into the third dimension. That's too difficult. Did he just parkour out of the way of that? Well, he is the godfather. Uh, yeah. Right, there is no drop. limit to the power of hose. And uh, let's do a diving axe handle to the back of the head. Did you know that he was also Papa Shango? Pop? Um, no. Yeah, he but looks, know, he looks hey. completely different in like every single gimmick. Huh. <laughs> He's just one of those dudes who've been around forever. He he was the the pay-per-view I did, um or the pay-per-view that I wrote a script for at least, uh the um what was it? The the Royal Rumble two nineteen ninety six, he was in that. 
with like an MMA gimmick or something. It was weird. It was before MMA was really a thing. It was pretty underground. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Oh, you won. Yeah, I beat him with the even flow DDT. Is he gonna replay that? Nope. <laughs> Replays the pinfall. Yeah, because that's the most it, that's the most interesting thing to see is when well, you're just laying on top yeah. of a man. Apparently, Chaz and uh, Shane McMahon had a 25 minute match. Wow, that happens a lot. The countouts. Yeah, the double countout happens a lot. Apparently. Okay, Triple H and Mr. Ass got pinned by Pat Patterson and Jail Gerald Briscoe, two of the Bookers, two frail old men who had not wrestled since the 70s. And on the screen, their characters at the time were that they were Vince McMahon's lackeys who didn't wrestle matches, and whenever they would get beaten up, it's going down in one punch. <laughs> yeah, and they beat, you know, Triple H and Billy Gunn. Huh. And the main event is Kane versus The Rock. Rock retains. After a fucking hour. Yep. So... All right, I think I'm going to end the stream there now, just because my throat is getting very, very sore. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm ending it a lot earlier than I thought I would. However, sore throat, not much I can do about it, because this is a very yelly game. Wait a minute. Wait a yeah, minute. you did You did go do a lot of... <laughs> I just noticed something. What? L look at my win percentage. Wait a, wait a minute. But you lost to test. I don't think the King of the Ring counted. Well, you know... 14-0, and 0, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Test is dead. Beating, <laughs> you can't lose to a ghost. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. That's it for this session of, uh, of WWF. WrestleMania 2000. This whole thing is, of course, going to be uploaded on YouTube and put into the WWF WrestleMania 2000 playlist for the stream through. If you're new to me on Twitch, then check out the description to see my YouTube. If you're seeing this on YouTube, check out the description to find the playlist of this playthrough as well as the Twitch where you can catch this live. You'll also find the dis in the description a link to the YouTube channel of my good pal Duvin here. Uh, That's his catchphrase. Uh, yeah, I'm a train. <laughs> That's his catchphrase now. <laughs> deal with it. Hashtag deal with it. Buy me some skinny jeans, you stupid motherfuckers. Here, main eventing WrestleMania. Until Undefeated. next time, have a nice day. Good night. <laughs>